What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Hisuian Zoroark and Explosion Regilecki combo. Should be a fun one considering you can lead Zoroark with Illusion, it will actually look like a different Pokemon, alongside with Regilecki, so it can look very, very disguising. You can actually pop Explosion, you got the normal gem alongside with the normal Terror type, so that will do some crazy damage, and on top of that, it will not affect Zoroark because it is a Ghost type, so really cool combo. We also got the Rain Squad on here with Urge Free, Tornadoes, and Magic Legion, and then Amoogus for support. Should be a very strong team, and we should end up grabbing some wins for you guys. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But the first Pokemon for today's team is going to be Tornadus. Top tier support Pokemon, especially with the Rain Squad. It's got Prankster with the Covert Cloak, Rock and Rain Dance, Taunt, Tailwind, and Bleak Wind Storm. Basket Legion's in our second slot. Great Pokemon to pair up with the rain considering it has Swift Swim to double its speed. It's got Life Orb with Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, Lash Respects, and Protect. In our third slot, we got the one and only Urshf, the strongest Pokemon in Regulation D. It has Unseen Fist, Mystic Water as item, Detect, Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet, a moveset you really can't go wrong with. In our fourth slot, we got the lovely Amoongus, Rocky Helmet, Regenerator, moveset's normal, I don't have to talk too much about that. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Zoro with Illusion and a Focus Sash as its item. It's got Shadow Ball for stab, Hyper Voice for stab, Helping Hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. Then last but not least, it has Rain Dance for more weather control. In our final slot, we got the one and only Regilecki, and this thing can do so much. It's got Transistor with a normal gem, it can hit hard with Wild Charge, it can get Speed Control with E-Web, it's got First Turn Priority with E-Speed, and then last but not least, it has Explosion for that crazy cool combo we already talked about. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, I'm about to code at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Zoro and Regilecki rain team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a few strong Pokemon in today's video. But, um, they got Fluttermane, they got Annihilate, they got Chiyu to pair up with the Fluttermane, and they're also rocking out with Grimmsnarl, Tornadus, and Landorus. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I kind of want to try to pull off... The Regilecki and Zoro combo, I feel like that could be really, really strong for us, so I might just do that. I might just try to get after it, but a problem would be if they lead Annihilate, that'd be a Ghost type. And then, I mean, we can just go Shadow Ball from there. We want to with Zoro and just not even explode, maybe just choice into E-Speed, or not even choice, just use E-Speed, or even go into Thunderbolt or E-Web. I kind of like that a lot, because this Pokemon is fast enough. You just take some speed and kind of get after it that way. So I'm going to go Zoroark. I'm going to go Regilecki. I am going to disguise the Zoroark as a as an Urshifu. And in the back end, I am going to bring Tornadus. I just think that's my best bet. Actually, you know, we're not even going to bring Tornadus. We're going to bring both the main Pokemon because they have no way of weather control. So with the Zoroark, I can actually just pop Rain Dance turn one. So I kind of like that. We can get Rain going from there. Five turns of Rain should be plenty. Our back end Pokemon should come out here. Get ripping. Kind of get after it that way but i would love to just pop a rain dance on top of going into an explosion and if i can land that and pick up say a double kill then my reg lucky will die out we'll pick up a double kill and on top of that we'll set rain and bring out a rain pokemon so again really cool combo but it's gonna be tough to pull off because i feel like it's so obvious you know but tornadus and chiyu come out here do i just send it do i just send it I'm thinking, I gotta just explode here. I have to just explode. Let's go rain dance. Let's just let's just explode. Do I terra explode? Is the real question. Yeah, you know we're terra exploding. We're, we're getting right after this. We are getting right after this. I'm not playing around. I'll waste my terra type all day for this. Trying to pull this off. So hopefully they don't terrasize. Hopefully they don't protect either. Reggie is here. <laughs> Reggie is here. So hopefully no protects. Nothing's worse than when you try out a combo like this, and both the Pokemon on the other side just protect. It really hurts the soul. So I'm going to take the normal Terra. I want to do as much damage as I can. I maybe didn't have the normal Terra, but I just want to make sure I can pick up these KOs. So we go into the normal Terra. They're also going to throw slice. And please do not be a Ghost Chiyu. It's definitely a Ghost Chiyu. Please be like Grass or something. Anything but Ghost. It's Grass. Okay, awesome. Cool. Awesome. So you really think I have an Urshf out here? You did not realize that I got Illusion to work in the back end. We love it. So Tailwind's gonna come out here. Go ahead, have some speed. You can go for a Terra Blast. I don't care. That's all up to you. Yeah, that's fine. You really think I have an Urshu here? Silly. Look at this silly person over here. Come on, man. It's my Zoro. 
with the Focus Sash. With the Focus Sash, who's now gonna set the rain? We love it. We get some rain, illusion's gonna wear off. This person's probably like, oh my lord. What have I just gotten myself into? Big time explosion comes out here. Should pick up a double KO unless they're sashed. And let's see how this one plays out here. There's a normal gen. I, I, I like how the move came out. I like how the, that, the move animation came out and then like a bunch of things happen after it and then the damage just explodes. But we pick up the double KO. That is big time. I can now bring out Swift Swim Basket Legion if I wanted to. Or I can bring out Urshfu. Whoever I want to. A big time double kill. Maybe should have kept my terror type. I maybe definitely should have kept my terror type. I feel like both those Pokemon are kind of weaker on the defensive side. So we could have just not used terror. But on top of that, there we go. Rain is set. So we got the rain. Uh, I could go into Bastion Legion. I could go into Urshifu. Hmm. Who would I rather go into? Probably Urshifu, right? Got Unseen Fish. He has the Mystic Water. Um, the reason I say Urshifu is because if they are rocking out with Intimidate Landorus, then I'd rather this thing get Intimidated than Bastion Legion. So I'm going to go Urshifu here. Urshi Urshi is going to come out here. And yes, there's the landers. I'd rather this thing get intimidated because I can just use Surge and Strikes and crit and kind of hit the wall and stuff. That's big time. So Fluttermane does come out here and mm, that's a problem. That's that's a problem. That is a problem. It is a problem. See, this is why I wish I had Terror type. Really wish I kept my Terror type. So they are Tailwind. This thing is also Protosynthesis Boost with a Speed Boost. So that's a little rough for me. So I guess I'll go for a Shadow Ball on that, and I'm just going to Detect. I am just going to simply Detect here. Kind of get after it this way. And I might double down into Fluttermane next turn with double Aqua Jet. I think that would be that would be the best play, right? I 100% think that would be the best play. I know we're Intimidated, but we have to get rid of Fluttermane if we want to win this. We have to get rid of that Fluttermane. The Gleam's gonna come out here. It is just gonna take out the Zora. That's fine. We just we just weren't surviving at this point, right? We really just weren't surviving. So I have to I have to hope and double Aqua Jet KOs. Or I could. Ooh, I think I have an idea. Instead of double down into the uh. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit more. Instead of double down into the Flutter Main, I think depending on the turns of Tailwind, we should double down the Landorus. Because if their Tailwind ends, if it has one more turn left in Tailwind, this is my Bash Legion actually going to outspeed. It's tough. But what I want to say is, if they only have one turn left in Tailwind, which they don't. Okay, so this defeats purpose. I was going to double down into Landorus, and then have Bash Legion outspeed next turn. Nice respects to Flutter Main down. But, since they do not have one turn left in Tailwind, I am just going to go for double Aqua Jet. Double Aqua Jet's my play all the way. Let's see if we can get after this thing. So Aqua Jet 1 comes out here, and there it is, yo. Big time damage from the Basket Legion. We love it. Double Aqua Jet. Getting rid of the Flutter Main, and now I really like where we're sitting. I absolutely love where we're sitting. Beautiful play for us. Calling the double first turn prior to get rid of Flutter Main, because Flutter Main was a problem. It was such a problem. And now from here, let's waste out Tailwind. Let's go Protect. Let's go Detect. And then that should be pretty much game. Wrap it up. Your boy's going to take match number one. I actually could have just doubled down with Aqua Jet and actually won that one here, but we'll play it safe. We'll waste out the Tailwind. We shall waste out the Tailwind. And they they might just end up protecting here too, trying to waste out Rain. You never know. But that was such a smart call for me to double down the Flutter Main. They just end up canceling the battle, and the explosion combo works here in match number one. Hot start for your boy in match number one. We're hopping to our second match, and we got a true test here. A top-tier world champion team right here with Fluttermane, Urshifu, Shen Pao, Tornadus, Iron Hands, and Amoongus. Do we go into that combo again? Little Zoroak, Regilecki? It's so much fun. I was super glad we got to actually use it in match number one, which was awesome. So, I don't know if I should go into it again. I don't think I am going to go into it. I think Tornadus is a great call here, especially with fake-out users. So I'm going to go into Tornadus, and I'm also going to go into... Do I go into Zoroak here? I feel like Zoroak could be good, especially if they're going to go into Fake Out. We can actually just uh, disguise it as Urshifu. Right, we can definitely disguise it as Urshifu, and then go Bash Legion in the back end. I really like that. Or do I just bring Regilecki? I feel like Regilecki on its own could be really, really good for us. 
I'm actually really down for that. We'll bring we'll bring Regilecki. I am gonna actually end up leading the Bascule Legion. Nice little Bascule Legion is gonna come out here. We can't be faked out. We will have Regilecki in the back end, who I absolutely love. Super fast Pokemon hits like a truck, especially with E Speed and Normal Gem. Come on, man, this thing's gonna hit real hard. It's gonna hit real hard, super hard. I just love how it, hit, uh, it has explosion. Love it, love it. It's just such a fun move. Especially the animation gets cooler and cooler every single generation. Like this time, it's just like a slow exploding bomb. <laughs> it just gets bigger and bigger. It's just, it's just, it's just awesome. I love using crazy combos like this. Let's see who they end up leading. Hopefully, the fake out user with Iron Hands. That's what, that's what I think they're gonna lead. And yeah, they do. Good call for me to go into Pokemon that cannot be faked out. And from here, we could end up just going Rain Dance, set the rain, and on top of that, probably Terrasilize. Ooh, I want the Terrasilize into like a different type, but I mean, this works. This works. You know, I'm gonna wave crash into Fluttermane just in case it wants to Terrasilize itself. I would love to just get rid of Fluttermane. Love to get rid of this little Pokemon. This little Pokemans. I'm going to Terrasilize, I'm straight wave crashing. And what I'm kind of hoping the moves to be is them going for maybe even a fake out would be cool. But I would rather the Iron Hands actually target my... My Tornadus and the Fluttermane target my Bashing Legion. That's why I'm Terrasilizing. I think a Shadow Ball might come out into my Bashing Legion slot. But if it's a Wild Charge, we'll probably die to that. But still, we should be able to outspeed and hopefully get rid of Fluttermane. I don't mind my Bashing Legion dying. As long as I can get rid of Fluttermane, because Fluttermane is just such a big threat. It really is. So there's a nice little Terra. I love the little Water Terra for, for big time damage. And the Rain Dance is popping. Rain Dance does indeed pop. We get off the Wave Crash. Everybody wave bye bye to Fluttermane. Unless it's Sash. I feel like it's Sash. It wasn't Boost or anything. Hopefully it's not Sash. Cool. Bye bye Fluttermane. You gone. Get it on out of here. We'll take some recoil damage. And again, hopefully the Iron Hands is targeting it down. The tornado slot. Let's see. Let's see what's cooking here. Wild charge. It is beautiful. I love it. I love making these reads. I knew that thing would go for Shadow Ball on me. We love it. We love it. All right. So we'll take that all day. We got the rain set up. We don't have the speed. I could go into you, but I feel as it's Urshi Urshi time, right? It's Urshi Urshi time all day long. It's one thousand percent Urshi Urshi time. Let's see who they end up going into. It is going to be Amoongus. Oh, oh Lord. We do not like that. <laughs> we simply do not like that. Um, who do I think he's gonna go after? Probably Urshifu, right? I'd rather detect Urshifu here. I'm still gonna go for a wave crash. I still see this doing a good amount of damage to the Moongus if they rage pattern. It. And who knows? They might not rage pattern. Maybe they wanna go for spores. You never know. So I'm just gonna detect my boy. My little Urshifu. I'm gonna look to get off some big time damage. Show me no Rage Powder. Let me hit this Iron Hands with this. It is Rage Powder. Simple play. Simple yet effective play. But we're hoping the Iron Hands are going after Urshifu. The Wave Crash is gonna come cooking in here. How much damage are we doing? A lot of damage. Love Wave Crash. Go ahead. Wild Charge my Urshifu. Do it. Do it. Wild Charge my Urshi. You won't. You simply won't. I knew it. Ah, come on, man. This game is too easy, man. This game is too easy. Big time plays for us. But did you see how much damage Bascule Legion just took? For no reason? It took Rocky Helmet damage? It wait, it took Rocky Helmet damage. Um, what else was it? It was Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. I can't even think of it. Recoil and Life Orb. That's it. <laughs> like, just absurd amount. But from here, I'm thinking of swapping Urshifu into Regilecki. And the reason I want to do that is because I just want to try to get rid of Amoongus. And I think the Wild Charge is going in the Urshifu slot. So I am going to end up swapping that. And I'm just going to go for a Wave Crash into Iron Hands. If you want to Rage Powder again, you can Rage Powder again. But I see the Wild Charge coming into the Urshifu slot now. So I'm going to swap back. I'm going to go into my Reggie. Because if I stayed normal, if I, if I stayed what I was doing... The Amoongus would just Rage Powder here. I would die to all this recoil damage and stuff. And then Iron Hands would just KO me with, uh, with Wild Charge. So, I'm cool with swapping 
getting my boy out onto this other slot and then going from there. Rascal Legion's died to all this really cool damage. And we should have a few turns left in range. Maybe like one or two. One or two turns left in range. This is where I have to target down the Iron Hands here. We have to just get ripping. I might just detect explode. Oh yeah, that might be my call here. That might be my call. That did a lot more damage than I thought. Of course you get a crit. And I, might, I think I'm just going to detect and explode. I'm my best bet. We should find a Pokemon. Maybe we should find a Pokemon. Probably, oh, probably Shen Pao, right? Could be ugly. Yeah, Sucker Punch going to do me, do me a little wrong here, right? So I could just E-Speed. I'm going to end up doubling down into this thing. I'm going to E-Speed because I think he's going to Sucker Punch me. So if I can E-Speed and dodge Sucker Punch and get rid of... Iron Hands at the same time, that'd be, that'd be game, set, match. That'd be game, set, match. Which I really, I really think he's going to do that. So ECB's going to come out here. I don't think he's expecting that. So I think he, he's going for Sucker Punch in that slot. Show me Sucker Punch. Yo, come on, man. I'm re This is like a book. It's like a book. It's too easy. Reading him like a book. And now we get rid of you. And wow, that actually did a lot of damage. I probably could have catered that thing a lot earlier. I'm thinking I didn't have to swap my Urshifu into Regilecki. We probably could have just KO'd the Iron Hands, but still. From here, now I shall just E speed, just so I can take off Sash, and then just certain strikes, and that should be game set match. Cool. Let's go. Come on, man. Yo, I made a lot of reads in this battle. I'm killing it. That's 2 0. Oh. That's 2 0. Oh. We made a lot of reads in this battle. Good amount. E speed's gonna fly. Take off Sash. Punch is gonna come through. And the KO the Regilecki. And now, from here, we just surge and strikes and we take this match no problem. Let's go. Let's get it. 2 0. Oh. You guys gotta love it. Final match is here. 2 0. Oh, already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And we're going up against a Bruxious team here in match number one. And you know what? I wanna try to pull off. The explosion combo again. So I'm gonna go Zoroak. I'm gonna go Regilecki right here for the lead. And then I am going to disguise the Zoroak as as Urshifu? Probably, right? I like disguising it as Urshifu. I really do. I'm gonna disguise it as Urshifu. And actually, he would have to be last. And I'm gonna bring Basket Legion with him? Yeah, because if we can pull off the combo like we did in the last one, I'm gonna set the ring with the Zoroak. It just sets up my Pokemon for late game. So, loving it. Hopefully, we can just pull this off. Explosion. So much fun to use. So much fun to use. But that second match, we were reading our opponent left and right, protecting at the perfect time, swapping at the perfect time, reading the sucker punch. Come on, man. That's too easy. It was too easy. So they end up leading Golden Go. Okay, I see you. I feel you. I understand. Along with. Hmm. Along with. Tornado. So from here, we might have to abort mission. We, we may have to abort mission here. And I'm thinking of just e webbing and going for Shadow. Because Tailwind, looking scary. Looking real scary. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And there's Tailwind. Yeah, we had the port mission here. Ghost type. No bueno. No bueno. I should have maybe set up Rain. But if I can e web and maybe Zoro can outspeed, I don't think it can. I was gonna say, if we can outspeed, we can KO here. Be big. Would be lovely, but we might not have the rain. Oh, you have a jack button. That's big time. A little bit of the eject button. A little E button. And yeah, that's a tough lead for us. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. So Urshifu's gonna come out here. Shadow Ball. Oh, we do outspeed. And they're probably so confused. They're probably like, what is going on here? And you live on one? Get that out of my face. What is that? What is that? Wait, oh, yo, you went for Shadow Ball into Urshifu, who is actually Zoro. That's big time. So from here, um, E-Speed's definitely your play. And I'm going to, do I set up the Rain Dance? Or do I just Hyper Rose? I'm thinking of just Hyper Rose. Oh, that's not the Water Urshifu. That is the Dark Urshifu. But I am going to set up the Rain Dance. 
Wow, that was that's so whack that, that thing lived on one HP. But good thing is, they fell for the illusion. Illusion Zoro just playing mind games. It's such a pain to play up against. Even when you see it in a party, you don't expect some things. But I feel like if you see Regilecki and Zoro, you have to know Explosion's a, a big possibility on the team, right? They end up withdrawal and Golden Go. That's totally fine by me. I am, I am east speeding, so I'm gonna slow down everybody. They're gonna go back into Tornados. That's fine by me. And I'm dead. <laughs> and I'm dead. That's fine. I get the rain cooking here. Get the rain saucing up. And I feel as from here. Do we go into Urshifu? Or do we go into Basque? Hmm. I still have Terra. I might want to just water Terra here. And wave crash. Boom, ba bump, ba bump. Who do I want to go into? I have no idea. I'm gonna go to Basque. Basque Legion, we're gonna terrasalize you. We're not taking a sucker punch or a wicked blow. We simply cannot afford that. So from here, I'm gonna Terra. I'm gonna just look to get rid of Urshfu, and on top of that, I am just going to Hyper Voice. It is Stab. Can get off some nice level damage. Maybe I should just Aqua Jet it into the uh, Urshfu, to be honest. Because I think they might both be faster than me. And if they want to go in the bleak wind storm, which is going to land in the rain. And into like a wicked blow or even a sucker punch. I'm dead. I am a dead man. So that might have not been a good call for us. But yo, Bashko, he just looks so good. I love this Pokemon. <laughs> He's just so cool. Ever since it came out in Legend Arceus, so I was just like, that is one of my new favorite water Pokemon. I seen it, I was like, oh my lord. Especially it was, it was like perfect too, because Basculin, like such an odd Pokemon, right? It's like, dude, why don't you have an evolution? You're just a tiny, stupid fish. And they finally gave it a cool evolution, which is awesome. But they end up hard swapping the Shen Pao, which I, I don't mind that. I do not mind that. And we're going to see a Terra come out from the Urshfu. The Urshfu gets Terra into what type? Into Maybe Dark? Yeah, straight Dark. That's fine, because I do believe you're going for Sucker Punch into my Bash Legion. And if you are, we sh No, we're actually not going to be able to eat that up. But Shen Pao next to him? That might be game. That might be game. Because this thing's going to hit like an absolute cannon. Right? <laughs> this thing is just going to rip into me. He's I'm dead. I'm so dead here. I'm so dead here. Absolute cannon. Yeah. <laughs> Shen Pao boost. Stab boost. Terra boost. Night, night. Night, night. The well, Hyper Voice is now gonna fly here. Does half damage over to that, uh. Does half damage over to. Urshifu. And what do I do here? Now I got two Urshifus on the field. Actually, three. It's a party. It's an absolute party. I'm just gonna go for Aqua Jet, look for the KO onto that. And. Do I helping hand? Or do I trust my Urshifu do enough damage? I kinda trust my Urshifu do enough damage. So I'm just gonna Hyper Voice. Well, they can go for Sucker Punch, dude. That, that's Night Night. Like I said, this thing's hitting like an absolute cannon. Look how many bears are on the field. I wish this dude had an Illusion Bear. It'd be awesome. Four bears on the field. <laughs> it just looks so funny. Look at all the bears, baby. Call call this 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 play the Chicago Bears. Aqua Jet comes through. It does do enough damage. He does not go for Sucker Punch. We love it. We love it. Big mistake, though. Big mistake not going for Sucker Punch. And Ice Soul Crash is going to come across into my real Urshifu. Who with that? I'm fine with that. Hyper Voice now flies. Aqua Jet can now KO. And their Tailwind is gone. Come on, man. And you can't protect. You can't dodge Aqua Jet. You're dead next turn, Shen Pao. You are a goner. You are a dead man, Shen Pao. Unless you Tailwind Sucker Punch. That will be your best bet. But from here, I'm just going to stick with my Hyper Voice. I'm just going to keep chunking up damage. We'll go from there. I still have Focus Ash, which is a gorgeous little sight. They have not touched my Zora for some reason. It's still in bear form. <laughs> it's still a bear. The power of Double Urshu. Could you imagine if Ditto was in this game? 
didoing Urshfu and having two on the field. Oh my lord. It's like it's like when you did Zacian. It was ridiculously strong. The Sucker Punch finally comes out into my uh into my Zoroak, and actually I think we lose this match. I think we lose this match. In all honesty. Leak Wind Storm should KO us. Aqua Jet flies. I should have probably went after that, to be honest. We're gonna outspeed. How much damage are we doing here? Oh, Miss Kale. Bleak Wind Storm. Oh, you go. You have Acrobatics. You just lost a match. You just lost a match. If you have Bleak Wind Storm, you win that match all day. But you just lost a match. I outspeed you. I outspeed you, and you don't have no first turn priority. We're gonna go 3 0. You have another Pokemon? I forgot about Gold to go. We outspeed that. Actually, no, we don't. Tailwind's gonna come out here. That's so ugly. I forgot about this Golden Go. That hurts the soul. Hopefully, you Terra. Did you try slash yet? They already try slash. Yeah, that's real ugly. That's real ugly. Tailwind will be played. Yep, there it is. Tailwind comes out here. My soul. I totally forgot about Golden Go. I totally forgot about that. That's hilarious, though. One HP Golden Go. This Golden Go actually should have been dead. It got a free focus, Ash. Comes in the back end, cleans up the match, and we go 2 and 1. Grab ourselves a winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 2 and 1 winning record with this Regilecki, I should say Explosion Regilecki, and his suing Zoro Queen team. Absolutely love this team. Had a blast using it. Zoro and Regilecki were so much fun, especially because they're off meta, and you just use them up against the meta because the meta is so, like, everybody's using the meta right now. So, Red Zalecki's work, a lot of fun to use. Then you got the Rain Squad in the back end, Urshfu, Twinai, Smash, Legion. You guys can never go wrong with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.